exciting day. New plane day, even though we're not getting any more planes. This is the Slick, uh, Pilot RC Slick, 74 inch. I needed something a little bit littler uh, to, so I can throw it in the truck. This would be perfect. Um, it was very good, again, another very good experience with tail slide aviation. Um, if you need a pilot, I don't, I may have everything, but I got uh, the pilot Viper jet from them, and now I got this from them, and I have a 90 inch extra coming from them, and the, the, the person that I was talking to was Harry Jr. Sejur, I think that's how you say his name, guy is great. Um, super communicative, you know, it, it just was a really good experience both times, so. Um, and I have no doubt the extra will be the same. So the extra is going to be perfect. So um, this is just the unboxing. Uh, I haven't taken it out yet. I just took the top off. And we're just going to take it out, lay the parts out. Uh, I'm going to build this thing hopefully pretty quick. It, it's a quick build. So um, it looks great. Package decent. Um, let's just take this stuff out of here. Let's just get it. Get it going. Good. This tape like this is pretty, pretty interesting. I didn't think it was that good, but it's great. It holds everything in really solidly. All right. So obviously, here's the rudder. Take this out. I love this scheme too. This scheme is super nice. But look at how nice that is. Hinges are already pre-installed. Uh, those are CA hinges, which is fine with this airplane. It's a smaller airplane, so there's your rudder. Uh, here's the elevators. This is a beautiful scheme. It really caught our eye when we were looking at this. Oh, that's interesting. One piece. Okay, so here's your... your... It looks painted, isn't it? No, it's actually covered. Oh. Um, it's let's beautiful. See. Oh, and it's sealed. You can see in here. So old school, you had to seal this. If you can see, that's oh, yeah. already sealed. So no sealing involved. A lot of throw. I mean, that's the bottom. But here's your... I'm thinking that's enough throw. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. So, okay, there's your elevator. And it's a 74. Yeah, 74 inch. Uh, I got a 40. I got a DLE 40 CC uh, twin, which is my first twin. Um, so that should be really cool to put in and uh, you know I, I love the DLE I've got the DLE 55 in the P47 out there um, so that I, I'm P47 super, shout out super happy with that <laughs> that's another great place um that's a Siegel models Thomas Whelan that guy's great too so those are two guys if you're looking for planes really good guys to deal with um, okay, so here's your wing. Man, look at how beautiful that is! Just a beautiful paint job. Mm. Um, again, there's for the servos. I just have to mount the servos, which is not going to be a problem. And it's all carbon. You can see this is all carbon fiber reinforced. All this bar and everything. Yeah. Um, so again, you can see. I'm gonna say that's gonna have enough throw. Yeah. That's that's gonna be your 3D throw. So there's your wing. The one wing. There's our other wing, and then you know what? I'll move this stuff. So we'll take the fuselage out and the cow and all that. So I'll move this. I'll move this this stuff out of the way so we don't crush anything. But here is the other wing. I just mm. love this scheme, man. I just, man. There's the throw. Same thing with the other with your servo. A uh, little bay there. Everything's pretty cut. Just looks great. Just such a, a really cool scheme. Uh, all right, here's your wing tube. That was in there nice. Carbon fiber deal. Only one. So I'm assuming we're going to have an. Oh, the elevator's one. So we're not going to have one for the elevator. The elevator. Okay, so this is pretty cool. The elevator already has a carbon fiber rod oh, yeah. in here. So it already has, and I'm betting there's probably another one right here. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty neat the way they built that. So here that is. Um, 
Well, let me take this out. Take the towel out. The cool part about this too is they give you this, right? So it's a it's a clear piece. The cool part about this is they give you a beautiful towel here. And the cool part about this is you can fit this on here. So when you put the motor in, you can use this to cut your holes, and then you just tape this right on here. Oh, we can template. Holes. Oh, so that's brilliant. really cool. With Pilot RC does that on on all of their planes because I know the extra has that too. Really cool feature. I really like that actually. Let's see what's in here. Oh, this is really cool. Okay. Side force generators. Oh, what they give you? You got to put your covering on. That's pretty cool. I'm actually probably not going to put those on. I don't like the way they look, but I know they've increased the efficiency of the aircraft. So, I don't know. Um, you got your wheel pants. Mm -hmm. Not even, well, you can always put them back in. See how nice Yeah, that color is in the finish. Oof. Okay, that's, look at the finish on those. Yeah. That is really quality done. I mean, that is really, yeah, it's beautiful. That's really nice okay so that's a couple of littler bits Let's see what else we got oh we got okay here's your wheels nice wheels here's all the control horns um these are battery oh these are for battery stuff maybe i could put these in the wings um, right in here those are battery connectors this is all your little bits um this i think is going to be um for different motors and such does it look um, like much of a build or of an assembly it build? It is. No, it's, it's, there's some building. It's not very hard, but, oh, they gave great stickers. So we got a great little sticker pack. Here's the gear, which is going to look amazing. Uh -huh. uh, what is this stuff here? This is, I don't know what these are. These are probably for inside if you're going to switch to electric or if you're going to put a little battery tray in that's usually what that is oh nice spinner so here's your spinner to match the plane mm. um i think i got a falcon 20 by 8 for this i don't i'm not sure about the, the size of the spinner but i think it's a 20 by 8 um now this looks really nice i can't wait to get, oh that's all glued in there so yeah that is all i'm gonna get in there this out and oh. probably just put this back in the box. All right, this is beautiful. Oh. Okay, take this out. Get this tape off. Yeah, I didn't even open this thing. That's why it's all still. Normally I take all the stuff off so it's not such a slow video, but I just got this thing Took it right out of the bag, took it right out of the box. And this thing is just beautiful. Mm. Okay, well, let's put this here. All right, so there's thumb screws for the, let's see, what is that? How does that work? I don't even know how that works. Oh, it's a nice little, oh, they're little, they're little quick attachment things. Okay, that's cool. Oh, this is so nice. Oh man, I didn't even know it come with all of this. Okay, so here's your your cowl attachment. Your Pilot RC, made in China by Pilot RC. Okay, look at how nice this thing is. God, here's your rudder, uh, your pull pull. Gas tank comes all done already. Actually, is your fuel dot? Like is that thing ready to go? Um, I don't see a fuel dot. I think the fuel dot's going to go either right here or right here. Okay. But they did, and they give you all the fuel tubing. Holy cow. So it's already vented, and the, this is run. Here's your fill. Here's your fill line. Here's your vent line. Mm -hmm. Here's your clunk, and they, they even did a good job. So with the clunk, you want it to go back far enough, but you don't want it to hit. So may have to do something if I can. yeah I won't that won't but this is a beautiful piece of work here okay so that is your gas tank which is probably gonna be right in there um and that's about it I mean um 
make sure this is just going to be glued in. Yep, that'll be glued in. Um, yeah, yeah that's a sharp scheme. Probably, probably actually get this, just put these in real quick here, give you a little shot of it. You want to move the box and put the... Yeah, I'll holder? put it on the, on the hole. Oh, look at that. This thing is just gorgeous, man. Here, let's pause and get the holder out, no? You got it? Whoa. Yeah, no, I got it. Oh, you got it. Okay, let's move these wings. Here's your stat. Here's your wing tube. Your carbon fiber wing tube. Oh, yeah. That's a nice, nice fit on that. Um... But that's how she's going. That's how she's gonna look. It looks great. You can't wait to get this thing in the air. Um, it's kind of mo the motor mount is for a Great Plains 38, so I'm gonna have to be careful with the motor. So the motor is gonna have to take a little bit of care uh, doing that. But um, other than that, let's get the cowl on here. We'll put this back on. So let's put this baby away. I really love these uh, quick connect, these quick connects. Man, that is so cool how that fits in there. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Put the cowl on here. And, oh. Yeah, the tape is just. Yeah, they did a good one. Okay, and here's your cowl. Mm. Beautiful. Mm. Looks mm. great. Perfect little airplane um, for what I'm going to need. And uh, it just looks just amazing. It just looks really good. Um, oh, why don't we put one wing on? Yeah, put this one on so we can see it. Yeah, I'll put a wing on and then comes with little nylon thumb screws to give you a little bit of lightweight. So I've had pretty good luck with these. I've never had any problems with the wings coming off or any of that. It's a black carbon fiber prop? Yeah. yeah. It's a Falcon, I think it's 20 by 8 or 20 by 9. I thought it was 20 by 8. I think you're right. Yeah. And yeah, I think you can use a 20 by 8 or 20 by 9. So I'll probably fly it with the 20 by 8, see how it works. If it's if I don't like it or it needs a little bit of something different, we can get a 20 by 9. It's not a problem. on this thing tomorrow and Sunday we'll do a build video yeah yeah we'll do a whole build series on it I mean it's not terribly difficult to build this plane there is some building I mean you actually have to do the servos you have to you know you have to put the servo arms on and, and make those the right lengths and but that's not really that's not really that big a deal I think it's going to be high vis in the sky too. Like that's going to be. Yeah, it's really a good scheme. I mean, you'll be able really to good. see. It'll be really easy to see. Okay, sorry, this is taking so long. These little <laughs> screws are actually pretty long. Look pretty well made. Everything fit together perfect, right? Every zero, yeah, everything zero complaints really so far. Good. Yeah, everything looks really good. The elevator fit perfectly. Rudder fits perfectly. Everything is already sealed, which is really good for a 3D airplane. I'm sure they all do that now. I mean, they didn't used to. So I remember I had a 35% extra that I had to seal everything on. This, I'm not going to have to do any of that. All right, well, let's slide this wing on here. Oh, man. Whoops. Ah. Oh, okay. That's how oh, it's going to look. It's a beautiful Yeah, here, let me go from the other side get the wing. Yeah, it's a Woo! beautiful little airplane. Great. Really beautiful. That's All a right, ten. Well, stay tuned for the build video. Another exciting new plane day. See ya.